Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of Buy or Nah with your host, Dads McGee, and we have a cracker, a very good episode upcoming. Buy or nah, buy or nah, why you acting trippy? Buy or nah, buy or nah, don't be getting libby. Buy or nah, buy or nah, we do them player of views. Buy or nah, buy or nah, the hottest thing you do. As you can tell by the title, we are doing a versus episode. If you don't know what a versus episode is, it's where we pit two strikers or two forwards and we see who can score the most goals, who can get the most goal contributions, including assists. And we just see whoever wins, and then that player becomes the king. Not, you know, not really. But anyway, today's video has two ones to watches. You have to watch both of them, and me. And the first player is Henrik Mkhitaryan, just switched from Manchester United to Arsenal. The Armenian flag, the great chess player that he is, he's got the five star weak foot, which is key. Four star skill moves, it does have high, high work rates though. We're going to be putting him at striker, so that could be bad. You can see 87 pace, great. 88 dribbling is great. Shot and passing a little bit low. And let's look at these attribute details. Good agility, 91. Good balance, 86. Really good dribbling and ball control, 89, 89. Stamina is great. Strength is all right. He is pretty tall, so I think that's going to boost that as well. Finishing and composure, however, is not too great. And he doesn't have great long passing, but 88 short passing should be pretty good. But he really has a tall task ahead of him because he's going against the Egyptian Pharaoh. Mohamed Salah, best player in the Premier League thus far this season, in my opinion. Maybe Kevin De Bruyne has something to say about that. 515k is what we paid for this one to watch card, the 89 overall. And he's this card's going to be really good. Regardless, this card's going to be good. The only thing that could keep him back is the two-star weak foot. He does have 97 pace, and he has four-star skill moves. And he's a left footer, and we love left footers. But look at this finishing, 96. Composure's 81, which is kind of... I wish that was higher because you can't really affect composure with a chem style, but you can finish. You can affect finishing with one. It does have great agility and balance, incredible acceleration. This is probably going to be the fastest card I've used in all of FIFA. Good stamina, 89. Great strength at 71. That's going to be boosted as well with a chem style. I'm probably going to leave them both on basic just because some people have different opinions on what chem style to use. Long passing isn't great, but he has good short passing. I'm going to say, though, the, the two-star weak foot is going to be bad. I'm hoping the 96 finishing can overcome that, but two-star weak foot is really, that's not something you want in weekend league. A lot of pros wouldn't use this card. And very quickly, we also have Nathan Ake. This card looks really, really, really good. I've been using his 81. I think it's an 81, or the first in form, and that card was great. I managed to pick, the, I managed to snipe this for 33k. He's going for like 130k, so this is a 100k profit, which is pretty nice. Uh, he's got good stamina, good strength. Good reactions and ball control, 88 short passing, 84 long passing, good agility and balance as well. This is one of the best cheap center backs you can get, and he's in the Premier League. So he's in this squad, uh, it's a good overall squad. I, I'm going to switch formation to have both play striker, talking about Salah and Mkhitaryan, and we'll see really who is the true king. We are going to jump into some daily knockout tournament action. If you guys enjoy this channel, if you enjoy these player reviews, drop a like. This is a huge episode, so let's see if we can hit, let's do something crazy. Let's do 200 likes for the Salah versus Mkhitaryan versus episode. I already said that. All right, first opponent is coming up. I don't think he's going to stand a chance. He's he's not going to stand a chance, though. He does have 82 rated Bakioko, which if you really think about it, he should be 28 overall because of how bad he is. Ah. All right, Salah Mkhitaryan up top. I put Salah on the left so he can do the low drivens. Mkhitaryan, it doesn't matter because he's got the five star weak foot. Play through. Oh, it's a great pass through for Salah. Salah's through already. Can he finish? No, he couldn't. I was on his weak foot. It was a great pass from Mkhitaryan. Salah, play it through. It's Mkhitaryan. 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 As he, oh, he doesn't finish. I forgot what his finishing is, but I don't think it's that great. He had a great chance. Both players are feeding each other well, but they haven't converted the chances. His finishing is only 78, and I didn't add any chem style to it. Genie picks it up, and he's going to just fling it forward for Salah. Salah, he's on the wrong side. He's going to cut it back onto the left. He gets by one. It's still Salah. He's so fast, and he... Oh, he doesn't finish. No, Mo, come on. 96 finishing. Oh, here's still Salah. Still Salah. Left foot. He can finesse these. Oh, he's just going to curl it. It's no chance. What a curl that is. We're up 1-0. We really could be up like 4-0, but I've missed some chances. Oh, look how fast he is. And he's got the strength. Oh my gosh. This card does not lose the ball unless I mess up. Inside. It's Salah. Can he go onto the right? He gets fouled, but he still has it. Mo well, Salah gets fouled, and he doesn't care. Oh, really good job by Mkhitaryan. It's a body out. Sunny. And there's Salah still with it. 
It's all like, oh, he, gets, he just gets fouled. That's the only way you can stop him. Play it up top. It's Martial. Martial still with it. He's going to play it in the middle. Genie wine all them. How do you not finish that? Oh, Mo Salah's gonna just walk it in. Okay, <laughs> everyone calm down. Mo Salah's got this handled. Mo Salah just, he doesn't even, he does the things so casually. Look at this. Yeah, I'm just gonna, okay, everyone calm down. I'm just gonna walk this in. No celebration necessary. Mo, Mkhitaryan plays it through for Mo, and Mo's just gonna run through that. Mo's gonna run through it, left foot. Can he finesse this? Uh, not a great finesse, I have to say. Hit it right at Schmeich's. Play it down, Salah, Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan could just be selfish. You have to be selfish. That's not being selfish. You get it back though. He's not finishing these chances though. Jeez, come on. Play it through for Salah and Salah's gone. The acceleration. Oh, that's a red card. Baye is gonna get sent off here. That was another goal. That was the hat trick for Salah. How, how is that a yellow? What is this game? This is the most blatant red card I think I've ever seen in this game. And they don't call it a red card. Thanks, Jonathan Moss. All right, we've made this halftime much better squad. I've actually, I've messed up several times. We could be up like 5-0. He probably would have rage quit by now, and Salah could have a hat trick. Mkhitaryan could have a brace. Instead, Salah just has two goals. Mkhitaryan has nothing. It's Mkhitaryan wide. He gets fouled. That has to be a second yellow for Bai, right? Really? Bai, how is he still on the pitch? Is this Casemiro in disguise? Oh, Mkhitaryan, great move. Oh, it's still Mickey. Oh, Mkhitaryan. Oh, could have been one of the best goals we've scored in a while. Salah. Play it back for Salah. Salah, can you get by? He does. This has to be the hat trick for Salah. 96 finishing. Show it off. Sh oh my gosh. Why am I so bad with Salah? How have I missed that? Here's Mkhitaryan. Does well. Plays it for Sun. Sunny. He's going to lift it back post. It's going to be Salah. It's going to fall to Mkhitaryan. And we get a goal back. So... Because of my terrible finishing with Salah, I just don't feel comfortable with him, honestly. Megatarian actually has a chance here, and Salah's only- his lead is cut in half. So he just really put his foot through that. Megatarian has not had a great game, but he found himself in the right position for that finish. Salah, still with it. Salah, fool everyone and keep going on your right. Keep it on your right. Keep it on the right foot. He's so fast, he's gonna center it. And Megatarian- I tried to skill- I tried to skill finish, and it did not work. It was not a finish at all. Full-time whistle. 3 nil is the final score. I don't know how I missed that last chance with Mkhitaryan. But I tried to I tried something fancy and it didn't work. Opponent number two has a Serie A squad. And he's got good agility up top with Papu Gomez and also Mertens. Hemshik's a good cam. It's a nice squad, I have to say. We'll see if uh, Salah can do better in his finishing. And Mkhitaryan can show up. Here's Salah, just using the left analog stick. Oh, he still has it though. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's ridiculous. It's still with Salah. Still, they don't know what to do. Oh no, it's the Smurf. The Smurf. Oh, the Smurf got me. The Smurf with an incredible hit. And we're down 1 0 inside of 10 minutes. And that was just an unbelievable strike. Oh no, we're getting hit on this counterattack. Come on, bye. Oh, bye can't keep up with Mertens. Bye can't keep up with Mertens, and Mertens scores again! Oh dear. Dries Mertens is just running past us. This is just an 86 rated Dries. What a smurf. Sunny. Mkhitaryan for Salah. Back for Mkhitaryan. Hit it for me. Right foot. Good finish. It's an assist to Salah, but at the same time, it's a goal for Mkhitaryan. And in our unofficial score count, that is two goals each for Mkhitaryan and Salah. But Salah does have one more assist. That's the tiebreaker, I guess. Assists will be the tiebreaker. This is like the, probably like the 10th episode of Versus thing we've done. And I still don't have official rules. Here's Mkhitaryan. He gets by one with a ball roll. It's still Mkhitaryan. Oh, he gets fouled. They just, these people keep fouling either Mkhitaryan or Salah. I'm going to have Mkhitaryan just try to hit this one. 23 yards out. Oh, Mkhitaryan. Okay. We should have Mkhitaryan try to hit more. What a goal. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that. You never score free kicks in this game. But that was a peach into the top corner. And Mkhitaryan has taken the lead. The underdog story is alive and well. We have to see this free kick one more time. Did the wall jump? No, it didn't. Huge mistake. Mistake number 10. Go Mkhitaryan. Keep running, Mickey. Keep running, Mickey. Play it down. Play it back. One more for Salah. Salah, left foot. Finesse that. There you go, Salissimo. What a goal. Salah has drawn it level. Mkhitaryan was coming out punching, coming out swinging in the second match. 
but Salah gets it was an assist however to Mkhitaryan so he might have the tie break and assists that's beautiful finessed into the side netting Nathan Ake can he keep up with Papu Gomez oh he couldn't Mignolet saved him though Nathan Ake got exposed there oh Salah beautiful dribbling still with Salah oh still with Salah they can't get it off him oh it's still with him oh 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 he gets taken out that is just the dribbling show this Mohamed Salah show to be 100% honest I still don't know what I'm doing with these dribble moves but I know that it worked Mohamed Salah can you put it away can you make it I don't know what the score is but he puts it right down the middle and 4-2 is this score they both have two goals in this game so I think Salah is leading overall by one made it to halftime and we responded really well after giving up two early goals to Dries Mertens just on the counterattack. pretty much the same kind of goal Mohamed Salah and Mkhitaryan have stepped up. Play 1-2. Back for Salah. It's a great ball. Salah, left foot. Oh, the keeper came out. I, His touch does get away from him, though. Maybe I'm accelerating. I'm sprinting too much because he, I know how fast he is. But usually players keep the ball closer to them. Go, Salah. Play through for Mkhitaryan. I think he's offside by a little bit. It's a great finish, though. Offside. I was just offside by about one-tenth of a second. Salah turns. Salah plays it down. Mkhitaryan for Salah. Can he accelerate past Koulibaly? Wow, he couldn't. I thought he was going to do it there. He's got 97-97. Oh, he plays right to him. Salah, unselfish. Mkhitaryan. Maybe Salah should be selfish there. I think it's tied now in terms of goals. Who's been better, though? I don't really know. Salah's had a lot more chances, but hasn't been as efficient. This guy rage quits. Mkhitaryan is even though, and he plays man of the match with the hat trick this game. All right, here we go into the final match of the episode. We're even on goals at, I think, five apiece or six apiece. I'm not sure about the assists. I don't want to look at it because I don't want to try to make it even. I don't want one player to win. I want it to be as unbiased a review as possible, even though it doesn't really matter that much, does it? Go Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan's just trying to draw the corner so we can get the subs on. Okay, he dr that's one way to get the subs on. <laughs> Oh, he hits one. What a save by Mignolet. Jesus did the Ronaldinho toe poke and it almost worked. Keeps. Mignolet. Oh, Mignolet, what have I done? Mignolet, get back! <laughs> Mignolet likes to have a good time, doesn't he? Go, Salah. Salah, you can get away from Victor Moses. Come on. Salah, you can get away from almost anyone. Oh, not a great pass, but it's going to fall back to Salah. Salah, be selfish. There you go. Be selfish. That is a powerful finish into that bottom corner. And he should be scoring that. Like, that's an easy chance for him, low driven, with the 96 finishing. Play it through for Mo. Mo, come on, with the agility. Keep going, Mo. Keep going, Mo. He's got the angle. He's got the angle again, and he can score from here. He can, and he does. It's pretty much the same goal he scored earlier in this match. But that's just what you have to do. Look at Mkhitaryan. He's trying to think... How am I going to beat this man? How am I going to beat the Egyptian Pharaoh? Low driven from that angle. If he got into that angle every single time, he would be unstoppable. It's just, it's a little bit hard when you, everyone knows you're going to try to get it onto the left foot. You're going to try to do a low driven with that left foot. Play it for Mo. Mo's going to get there with that pace. Mo's going to get there with that pace. Hit it with the right foot. Oh gosh, Mo. His right foot is just so bad. Three star weak foot is kind of usable, but two star weak foot is just, like it doesn't work. Mo. Mkhitaryan. Through for Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan gets in front of Bai, gets in front, and he's got the five-star weak foot, so he's going to finish that. There you go. That's just, if Mo Salah had a five-star weak foot, he'd be the best player in the game. He would be better than Messi, but the two-star weak foot just kills it. Mkhitaryan, he's going to play that ball, and you can just play it up to Salah. What's he going to do? He has to get onto the left foot, and everyone knows it, but can you still, st oh, they're so lucky to stop that it took a bunch of deflections. Made his halftime yet again. Much better squad here. Mo Salah is making an impact, and he's he's able to get onto the left foot. If you can get onto the left foot, Mo Salah is going to be your man. But a lot of people in the weekend league, a lot of better players, aren't going to let you do that. Sunny. Inside. Mo. Mo. Dribbles by. Right foot. That is just beautiful footwork. Tiptoeing past people. That's a most solid goal right there, and that was with the right foot. Is, uh, nah, is he gonna rage quit? No, play don't rage quit. No, sir. We are still playing a very good game. Okay, so that's gonna do it for those three games. We didn't finish all three games because of the rage quit, but like two and a half. A little bit over two and a half. And let's see these stats. So we're starting with Henrik Mkhitaryan. He was pretty good. Three games played, five goals, three assists. 194k, 
it's going to be higher than just the inform because these are the ones to watches. So there's going to be the potential that he could get another inform. So that's going to add maybe like 30 to 40k. So I'd expect his inform to go for about 150. Let's look at the attribute details, see what really matched up. Uh, finishing, I would say, matched up with 78 and only the 80 composure. He's not super reliable in front of net, but he does have the five star weak foot, which makes the finishing, in my opinion, go up slightly. So I would say finishing about maybe 81 or 82. It's not incredible. And the shot power 89, I thought sometimes you could feel it, but a lot of times it didn't feel like 89. Long shots aren't too great either. It's a good card. He keeps the ball well, but really, where you're gonna, if you're gonna use this card, you would use him as a cam. But he doesn't have the long shots to really play as a cam because you need to make those long shots, or you need to have a cam like Jesus or like JJ Akacha who plays one twos and just sprints into the box for one twos. So he's not the greatest cam I've ever used, but I would say he does have potential to get more informs because, as a Dortmund fan, I saw a lot of Mkhitaryan when he was playing with Dortmund. And with Manchester United, it wasn't an attacking-minded squad. Arsenal, on the other hand, when you pair him up with Aubameyang, when you have Utzel, who's kind of, in my opinion, a similar type of player to Mkhitaryan in terms of passing, I think Mkhitaryan, if the offense runs through him, he's going to have a lot of chance for more informs. So at 194k, I do value this card. I think he could get at least one more inform, or at least have another game where he plays really well and maybe gets an assist or a couple goals. So his price could go up, and I could see you getting being able to sell this card for like 250k. Mo Salah, let's look at his stats. Seven goals, two assists, three matches played. This card, I, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. For whatever reason, I feel like his touch is heavy. I think it might just be because this is the fastest cards I've ever used in FIFA 18, and I'm not used to it. So a lot of the times, I'd be through on, I would be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, and I could have just like stopped sprinting. But then I'm used to not, I'm used to having to sprint to keep away from the center backs. But with Mo Salah, he's so fast, you don't really need to. So I would end up just like dribbling it into the keeper. So that's really user error. But I feel like a lot of people might still do that because you're just not used to the pace. You have to be, you have to get accustomed to how fast and how quick this player is. This card isn't as responsive as JJ Akacha, but he's still elite in terms of how quickly he moves and his left analog stick dribbling without having to use anything else. But I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep mentioning it. The weak foot is just so bad. And when you're playing in the weekend league, you need to play unpredictably. That's what gets a lot of goals. And then with Mo Salah, everyone everyone knows that he's gonna get it onto the left foot. So his left foot I mean his right foot isn't good enough at just two stars to finish, even with the 96 finishing. I was hoping that would counteract it, but it really didn't. I know this is probably gonna get dislikes, but I don't think this card is worth 500 k People will dislike it just because they think I don't like Mo Salah. I, I'm a huge fan of Mo Salah. I like this card a lot, but if you're going to play for the weekend league, you can't really use a two-star weak-footed player. If you just want to have fun, if you're Egyptian, use Mo Salah because he's, he's one of the best cards in FIFA aside from the weak foot. Anyway, I'm going to say Mo Salah is a nah. Mkhitaryan, I would also go with a nah, but um, both are probably going to get more informs. I can definitely see Mo Salah. He's been like the best player in the Premier League getting another inform, especially with how attacking Liverpool play. Nathan Ake, quick mention about him. He was good. I got him for 33k, so of course I'm going to keep him. He's probably going to go settle around 100k, 70 to 100k. And is it a huge improvement over his first inform? Not really, but I still think the improvement is there and it's noticeable. So you should get this card. Look at the passing and dribbling for a center back. It's ridiculous. And he's really, his jumping is incredible. Anyway, that's going to do it for this player review. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for new comments, share with your friends. I'll see you boys later. And as always, don't forget to spare pets.